Hey guys, this is Ed Frolish. I'm your host of Ocean Deep Fishing, and I wanted to bring this to you. It's a little different than a catch and cook, but it's a catch and smoke. So yesterday we went and caught a bunch of um, Spanish mackerel. Pretty. F oh. oh, are you serious? Uh. <laughs> Boom, in the water, we lost them. Got a Just got a fish. Oh, another Spanish. Yeah, there we go. Another one. Another Spanish, guys. And I'm going to clean them right now, and I'm going to show you how I clean them to put on the smoker. And then I'm going to show you a brine to put them in, and then um, we're going to end up smoking these uh, sometime today. I've already cleaned several, but I wanted to show you before I get finished over there how exactly I clean them for the smoker. And then these are going to be smoked for um, smoked fish dip. All right, let me show you how to do this. Normally what I do is I just start at the head and you're going to go on one side, typically like how you start a fillet on a fish. You run it down, run it down the backbone up to the head. Just like so. All right. And then you're going to come in, you're going to come in and cut the head off. And you're going to kind of open it up like a butterfly. There you go. You want to butterfly it just like that and take the tail off. And then course clean the guts out now when you smoke these it'd be real easy to pick the, the um, meat off the bones that's why I just leave everything on there right now okay guys welcome back from the uh, cleaning table we are in the kitchen now and we're going to show you how to do this brine um, I'm just going to use a bucket because um, I really don't have a bowl big enough to fit all this fish in you can use whatever you need to um, but I cleaned out the bucket and uh, so we're going to do, we're going to soak it in the bucket. Now because the fish is thin, um, it only needs like uh, 45 minutes to an hour to soak in this brine. Then we're going to take it out and um, pat it dry. We're going to cover it, put it in the refrigerator and it's going to be smoked tomorrow. But anyway, so, so here's my ingredients. We got um, putting in the bucket four cups of water. We got two cups of orange juice. Um, one cup of uh, brown sugar, and I use light brown sugar. You can use dark brown sugar, whatever you want to do. Um, a half a cup of iodized table salt. And then uh, yellow mustard. There's no set thing on this. You know, maybe about a tablespoonful, just squeeze it in. And Worcestershire sauce, and the same thing, you're going to use like a, a large tablespoon. Get a large spoon, and we're going to shake that up. I'm going to add another half cup of uh, salt. Now, if you guys don't like salt, you don't have to use salt. What the salt helps is between the orange juice, the brown sugar, and the salt. Kind of like uh, once it, the fish soaks and you take it out and you lay it and pat it dry, it forms kind of like a crust on the fish. And that's what's going to absorb the smoke flavor is that crust that's on the fish from drying out. So once it soaks, we're going to take it out. We're going to lay it out on, pat it dry, and then you let it air dry till it forms a crust. Then once that is, I'll put a towel over it and put it in the refrigerator and it's um, ready for tomorrow for smoking. Actually, it's probably going to be the whole thing. I don't even think I'm going to get another one half a cup out of here so you got your bucket ready here's the fillets that we did outside two halves and one side's got the bone on it so we're just going to put them in there and we're going to let them soak um, basically you just want to put them in there and make sure that the liquid covers the fish so that all the fish are in the liquid getting happy all together you can see So 
So we just lay it in there, push the fish down. Now the water is pretty cold from, from the orange juice and the water because they're both in the refrigerator. Um, we'll let that sit 45 minutes <clears throat> and then we'll take it out and I'll show you how to pat it dry. And then it's got to sit um, on the counter and it varies. It could be a half an hour to an hour on the counter until it forms a crust on it and then uh, put it in the refrigerator. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, fish has been in hour and 15 minutes. What we're gonna do now, Okay guys, and then once they're out <clears throat> on this, you just pat them dry. They don't have to be perfectly dry. Most of the moisture off of them. Okay, before they dry totally, I'm gonna put some spices on them and then we're gonna let them air dry here. We'll put them in the fridge after that and uh, smoke them tomorrow. I'm gonna put a little Everglades seasoning on. And that's it, let's air dry and we'll be back in a couple hours. I don't know if you can see that the glazing, how it's glazed over. Anyway, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this in a pan, put it in the fridge till tomorrow. All right, so I got a pan here ready. We're just gonna layer it in the pan. It doesn't have to be in any particular way. And then I'll tell you what I'm gonna do so they don't dry out in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna put these moist towels over it. And that's it guys. We'll catch up with you tomorrow when we put it on the smoker. All right guys, boom, it's morning. We're getting ready to uh, put the fish on the smoker. I got the smoker heating up to um, 240. And now we are going to stage our fish on that. Just lay it out proportionately to the best way it'll fit on your grill, on your grates. Um, you wanna put skin side down. We're only cooking it at um, 240. Once it reaches temperature, it's probably only going to take a couple hours at the most. All right, so there's your fish position. Um, we're going to take it out to the smoker. All right, guys, here's my smoker. Master built. The thing isn't the biggest smoker, but it does really well for what we need. All right, I'm going to open it up. I'm just going to put them in just like this. Y'all want to take a look at that, so that's what we got. We're going to close her up. Your flavor and your smoke rings are going to be in the first couple hours of smoking. So I'm going to start it right off right now with um, some smoke and how we do that. And this particular model is right here on the side. We have a smoke chamber. You bring it out and you can see a little chamber like that right in there. So we're gonna fill that with some chips. All right, so I have some apple wood chip and then I have some hickory. Pretty much a combination half and half. So that's our hickory chips. Put a little bit of apple chips on there. So then it goes in this way Put it in the chamber, make sure it's in there, and then you turn the handle, and that drops the wood into the burn pan. Okay, that's it for now. We're gonna let this thing smoke a couple hours. When it's done, take it out and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, we're back at the smoker. We're gonna take the fish off right now. I just want you to see what it looks like. Oh, nice all done all right we're going to take it out put it on the pan all right there you go smoked mackerel all right guys take a look at that
All right, guys, we're back at the table here. We're going to uh, put this dip together. I want to show you what we're going to put in it. Mild cheddar cheese, pepper, salt, two things of Philadelphia cream cheese um, brought to room temperature. That's important. If you get it right out of the fridge, it's going to be hard to mix. We're going to chop up some green onion. We have some sour cream and we have our fish. Get a good look at that. That's our smoked fish that we picked off the bones. And we got a good sized bowl. We're gonna mix the sour cream, the cream cheese, the onions, and everything, the cheese, salt, and pepper. We're gonna mix it in this bowl first, mix it all together. And then we're gonna put the fish and we're gonna fold the fish in. Because we don't, we don't want the fish to be uh, broken up too much. We want some texture to it left, so. We're gonna do that, so let me chop up these onions and be right back with you. All right, we're gonna start with um, the cream cheese. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the first cream cheese. Just put that in the bowl. All right, and put number two in there. All right, we're gonna put, uh, that was one bunch of uh, green scallions. Some call them summer onions, some call them green onion, all pretty much the same thing. Equal parts, which is just about the whole thing. This is sour cream, so we're gonna put that in. Before we mix the cheese in, I wanna get this, you wanna get the cream cheese incorporated with the sour cream, even though the Cream cheese is room temperature, it's still a little stiff. I'm going to do a little salt and pepper. I always taste it to make sure. Sometimes I've seen the sour cream or the cream cheese be a little on the salty side. It's all right, so we're going to just put this is just to taste. probably six or seven, eight shakes of that. And then we have our mild cheddar cheese. We're gonna put, this is eight ounce, we're gonna put four ounces in there. So that's half a bag. All right, we're gonna fold that in. Like I said, guys, this is a real simple recipe, the hardest part is smoking the fish it takes the longest now you can buy smoked fish and do this if you're going on a, to a dinner or something trying to bring an appetizer you can make all this base at home and uh, just buy the uh, smoked fish if you're not fortunate enough to be able to catch it and smoke it yourself uh, that works too so the Spanish mackerel we caught yesterday they weren't a really great big size um, so there was um, nine of them that we smoked and that's the pickings in here of all nine. Probably gonna start off with half of this because it's a lot of, it's actually a lot of fish for this here. Just kind of fold that in, see. Actually, it looks like we're gonna use the whole thing. You can eat this right away, but it tastes so much better if you let it sit overnight in the refrigerator before you um, serve it. So if you're having it for um, an appetizer for one of your parties, Try to make it the night before, at least so it can sit in the fridge overnight. If you don't want it chunky, you can take your, um, if you have a tabletop um, mixer, you can put it in a mixing bowl and mix it on there, or you can get your hand like a cake batter mixer, and uh, you can mix this up. I kind of like it on the chunky side. So another thing that's pretty cool, bringing this over to somebody's house for, um, an appetizer. If you put this in the refrigerator and let it get cold again, um, like tomorrow, you can actually take it with some gloves on and you can actually form it into a ball and then roll it in bacon bits, put a couple little green scallions on top and put it on a plate with crackers around. It makes a nice appearance. All right. Oh yeah, when that sits overnight, that's gonna be good. All right guys, pretty much um, this is ready. Put it in the refrigerator overnight and you're ready to go. You can eat it now too. We like the Triscuits. This is the uh, smoked Gouda. 
crackers. I hope you try this recipe and make, if you do, put in the comments of how you liked it. If you tweaked it up a little bit and you added this or that, let me know that too. Um, I might try that the next time. So I hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions about the fish, the smoking, any of the uh, ingredients in here, yeah, just drop a comment and I'll get back with you. So anyway, thanks for your time. All right guys, until we see you next time, be safe, God bless. Tight lines everybody, thanks for watching.